Hello, um, this video is about the conservation of momentum and to be specific, conservation of linear momentum. And when you see an inbox where it says linear momentum, it often doesn't explain, well, well, what's, it, what's the option? Well, there's also angular momentum. So linear momentum, now momentum P, which equals mass times velocity of something. So here we've got an object here, mass M moving with, say, velocity uh, u, which gives it a momentum of equal to m u. So let's so get used to these ideas. So mass times velocity, m u, u stands for um, initial velocity, as of our Suvat equations. So, so linear momentum is, is objects moving in, in straight lines. So for instance, an object here moving a straight line, it's another object here, and then they both move off together in a straight line or even if they hit and I don't think we do this don't do this on all courses and uh, maybe we'll look at that later is that they hit and then one goes off at an angle one goes off at another angle uh, a bit like in, um, in snooker so all those are straight lines and linear momentum now what you find is the other type of momentum is, is angular momentum of course so um, for instance ice skaters or, or anything like that which in fact is is rotating around a point or a wheel um, for instance, that possesses something known as angular momentum and the other um, laws pertain to angular momentum however what um, we're, we're looking at is, is a linear momentum, the conservation of linear momentum. And the law states um, that for, um, for a system, um, linear momentum is conserved, or momentum is conserved, um, unless acting upon by an external force. So all momentum is conserved. And let, or we could say that um, the momentum of a closed system is conserved. Now we're looking particularly at linear momentum. So. Let's, 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 let's set up a, a, um, a collision. So here we have a ball, okay? Moving or an object, an object rather than a ball. A thing moving along with, uh, say, a mass equal to two kilograms and a velocity equal to five meters per second. That's the direction. And let's say, another ball a bit larger here um, is moving in this direction and it's got a mass of um, say three kilograms and it's moving with a velocity um, of say two meters per second Okay, now, what is going to happen when they collide? Well, we'll use the idea of the conservation of momentum. In other words, what I would like to say is, momentum before is equal to momentum after. And let's assume there's no external forces. So, what's the momentum before? So, what we have the momentum before is where we've got the momentum of this ball, which is this object or whatever it's, it's two times five. And the momentum of that, now, if we assume positive is in that direction, the momentum of this object is in fact, is going to be negative velocity. So it's going to be negative two times three. Okay. So and that must equal the momentum, momentum afterwards. Now let's say that afterwards they're joined together. Okay, so if they're joined together, the total mass of them joined together is going to be two plus three. So it's going to be Five multiplied by the final velocity v. Okay. So in fact, I'm going to draw that above it just to make it 
even clearer what's going on. So let's draw it above the situation. We have here a ball here, two kilograms, five meters at minus one. It'll collide with an object or a ball or whatever here with a uh, three kilograms um, going the opposite direction as such, making that negative two meters second to minus one must equal to and they're both joined together and we'll show they cut that they will stick together and they'll move together these two objects can't be balls or bounce bounce away they move together with final velocity of, of, of v and the total mass is two plus three that's five v so all we have to do now is solve that simple equation so in fact i'm going to work it from above because we've got no space so i'm going to go all the way to the top which is unusual but it's going to work for us so that's 10 minus 6 equals 5v 4 equals 5v which will give us the final velocity of them both together is in fact equal to 4 over 5 and it's positive meters second to the minus 1.